crab, all that weird kind of seafood. You can eat these things raw, guys. People eat raw crab all the time. Oh, okay. Go. Exactly. Yeah. Like true with the oh. back molars. Give it a good crunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She did give it a good crunch. Yeah. See, I told you guys it tastes like something good. She's crunching it. It tastes actually really good. Oh God, really? It's a lot of shellfish. Bro, I can't even get this guy to eat like a, a piece of broccoli. <laughs> what? AZ and Sip? I can't wait for him to eat oh, this oh, 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 oh. He's eating raw sandwich with the iguana man, guys. Oh my God. This shark right here. Guys, take a bow, take a bow, guys. Hey! Hey! Welcome to Watch Your Lip. Yes, dude, Perdick, did you gain weight? Yeah, I put on uh, 32 and a half pounds since I got here. <laughs> <laughs> and two legs. And two legs, <laughs> yes. All right. So, guys, 2020 is almost yeah, over. Thank boy. the Lord. But there was also some highlights in 2020. If you watch our videos, you would know. Yes. But we have caught some fish and we have made some memories. So today we're all gonna share what we thought was the best part of 2020. Best, so. best and worst of 2020 coming at you. As Lorenzo? you said, 2020 really sucked, but 2020 also really was awesome. It yeah. really did. It was good yeah. and bad. It was really good and bad. Good and so. bad. It was, the, it was the year of greatness and sucking. <laughs> Yeah, guys, 2020 sucked, but watch your lip, did not. All right, guys, let's get to some of the best and worst of 2020. All right, here on the infamous Pompano Beach, we have none other than Dude Perdick. Dude Perdick, 2020 has been a little interesting, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's been, it's been a stinky year in so many ways, but it's been a great year in a lot of other ways. Yeah. So, um, Romans 8, 28 in this one. I'm going to start off with first. This is a, I got four sections of breaking this down. The first one, first section is first. Um, Lorenzo Fine. First saltwater tarpon this year on the beach. First oh, saltwater yeah. tarpon. Right here, man. It was a beautiful <laughs> one, too. It was like, it was, it wasn't just a juvenile. It was a nice tarpon, man. So awesome. kind of like mastering saltwater tarpon. Yeah. Or mastering beach tarpon. Dude, beach, beach tarpon. We all, all three of us got beach tarpon. Yeah, we got, we got four of them total. Is, that's the first for me, a beach tarpon. That have actually uh, landed. Um, hooked a bunch of them, but never landed one. Yeah. On yeah. First, also Ryan Roll, guy's killing it, man. I mean, Ryan he's, Roll is killing it. Killing it. He's out there fishing tarpon and snook and peacock bass in my stinking backyard. He's got a boat. <laughs> I can't get out there. He's got the lead line. Uh, Carter. Carter, cousin Carter. Cousin man. Carter. Dude, he came. He's, uh, he's, you know, he's fishes for bass and just a little bit, a little bit of uh, seawall fishing out there in the West Coast. The but, catfish and he came here and uh, he hooked up, man. He got a, a Herman Charlie caught a permit. He helped. He was one of the four people that reeled in the eight-foot lemon shark. He 
got what else? We got Jack, Jack Ravel, good sized cup. We got a few actually those. And finished off with a nice oh, snook. Finished off with a snook. I don't, I don't know if it was a slot. It looked like it was a slot. Um, we didn't we didn't do the official measurement. We were pretty close. <laughs> and hey, Lorenzo, what, what do you think? Is that a pretty good week? I got <laughs> You'll take it. I will definitely take it. You'll see. Oh, Zach and Caroline, uh, friends from Georgia. It's been uh, kind of same thing, freshwater fish and some bass and some crappies up there and whatever they have in Georgia. And he came down, He could, so he's the one that caught, it was about a, probably about eight pound jack. And uh, we got on video and, and got hit by a cuda or a shark. On the way in. in. So his, ta his tail was just dangling there when he was holding up. Well, let's talk about how, first in terms of a negative sense, 2020 was kind of crappy too. 2020 was crappy. <laughs> what, what, what quarantine? Was, quarant well, the quarantine brought up, like, brought up the quarantine uh, fishing tournament, so that was good. That was good. So um, 2020 is like, but like there was like a couple months where we couldn't come to the beach. They wouldn't let anybody on the beach. Dude, that was bad. I remember our first, when we first got back to Delray Beach, and we, we actually have an episode where the kids jumping in slow motion to the, the sand. and For the first time. Kissing the sand. That was, yeah, that was amazing. Yeah, just amazing. So, um... Yeah, the beach, you think with vitamin D and fresh air, sunshine, everything you need for, you know, a healthy immune system, uh, shut that up. Let's shut that down. Let's shut that down. Good idea. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for that. <laughs> Appreciate that, guys. So let's go for surprises. Because we know that COVID is, like, just rampant on the middle yeah. of the oh, beach. Oh, yeah. It's coming. It's, it's all the, the bonefish and the permit to have it, and they're blowing it inshore <laughs> with the wind. They're spitting it on yeah, us as we're, yeah. as we're putting them in our clothes. Most course. dangerous place to be. Okay. Okay, guys. Best of 2020, the lovely Mrs. Fine. Feet in the sand, that's a beautiful thing because we're actually here, end of the year, in the beach. It's freezing at 75 degrees. Yes, best sir. and best and worst of 2020. What, what do you think, what was your best memories, watch your lit memories of 2020? Going fishing at Key Largo. That was Atlantic Bay Resort. Yes. We did Atlantic Bay Resort. Together with our friends, um, especially through this year that has been so morbid and so dark and full of uh, struggles and pain and um, just suffering. So yeah. uh, the times that we got to get away have been a blessing and um, yep. God has given us time of uh, beautiful Ooh. memories with our friends. <laughs> Lorenzo, come on, dude, we're filming. Ooh. And then also celebrating Sophia's birthday. I don't know if that's a watch your lift uh, of course it is. event, but that was pretty amazing camping. We love to be outdoors, and any time that we have the opportunity to do so, um, it's beautiful. So yep. We enjoy uh, oh. camping with our friends and celebrating 13, 13 years, years old. <laughs> 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 uh, really sad, yeah. That was like a tropical storm. Okay. Etta. Etta. Came in. Etta. I don't know. Etta. Etta. Right. ATA. <laughs> so, yeah, but 2020 was kind of crappy too, wasn't yeah, it? It really was. Well, yes, it was. Um, uh, I love being at home with the family. You know, if you're gonna be cooped inside of a house, it's with uh, these faces. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> those are the faces you want to be cooped up with. Yes, yeah, sure. um, of course. Oh. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> you oh, sure you want to be cooped in with that one? I gotta mention one amazing memory from 2020. We hit a thousand subscribers. Yeah! Yes. So, we've got, uh, that was a pretty cool thing. It's a long road. 2020 ended with a bang, 1,000 subscribers. Yes. And man, I'm excited. What do you think, Lucy? I'm What's your favorite fish? Yeah. This is a girl that tarpon. knows how. Tarpon. Tarpon. She yeah. likes tarpon. <laughs> Lucy knows how to have fun on the beach. Look at her. That's awesome. Category. Next category is surprises. Surprise. Okay, I look at the light, I'm blinded. Oh, uh, first one, yeah, bonefish. Me and Jackson catching bonefish. I forgot what Jackson brought his on, but catch a bonefish in on the beach here in South Florida, in Pompano. Uh, it's very surprising because you said you've been down here 20 years, never caught a bonefish in the beach. Yeah, I never caught one. In a beach. I, um, I caught one small one in a cast net, but never on the rod and reel. Definitely never on a filter. Yeah, that was just strange. So anyway, that was a big surprise. Um, uh, glass, uh, glass minnows, silver side. Silver side run. Right here. <laughs> Like literally right we, there. We discovered this somehow. I mean, they were just here. Lorenzo literally slayed his tarpon right there. Right, so, right, right there. Right there. They were just quarantine, quarantine fishing, tournaments. fishing tournaments. But uh, Bryce, you know, caught that huge catfish uh, 11 minutes after midnight at the beginning of it, and people were catching all day. I didn't get a chance to fish that day. First about, about 30 minutes in my backyard, but it was <laughs> Michael's birthday, so we had to do all that. And then I, I, I had a bucket of bluegill, and I took it out at the very end. I was going to dump it. And I had 20 minutes, so I, I put one in, and sure enough, man, I caught a, a 
36, oh, 38, 38 inches. 38, no. 38 inch nook, man. When, I won the awesome. contest with about eight minutes to midnight. That was awesome. Yeah, we, we got a, we got a timestamp on that. Time like, literally, that you, you called me. I'm putting my son to bed. It's like 11:52, yeah. and dude, for calls like, Dave, I'm on, I'm on. I, I need you to film. I, I got no, I got no I battery in my camera. On and he was running bank to bank <laughs> while I was talking to you, man. And you know me, I'm like, I'm trying to fight him with you on the phone at the same time. My, my adoption uh, this Thursday, five more, four more days from now, will be uh, official. Offic he'll be official. Therefore, by the power vested in me by the state of Florida, I put my order and a judge and declare you, Mr. and Mrs. Perdick, to be the mother and father of Michael James Perdick, and you, Perdick children, to be some very fortunate brothers and sisters of Michael James Perdick. Dude, be a Michael's official. Here, buddy boy. Hey, buddy boy. Come on, Michael five. is official. <laughs> An official verdict right there, guys. Where'd he go? Officially cranky. The officially cranky. Hey. Lorenzo, oh. my boy. I'm your boy. Best of 2020. I'm not your girl, I'm your boy. Yes, that's yeah. what I said. Best oh. of 2020. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So, full mullet run. What's not got this boy? You caught, your, you caught a beautiful slot. Beauty. In the mullet run. And I called it. I said, it's a slotty. I'm calling it Snook. It's a slot. I called it. That was beautiful. And he tasted good, didn't he? He tasted like sand. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he tasted good. We made some simmages out of him. <laughs> he tasted good. He tasted good. Okay, another really good memory was probably when we went out and double D charters and caught and limited out on Wahi Wahi. Dude, 40 Bro. Mahi. Bro. That was sick. They tasted good as well. Yes, they did. Okay, another great one. Eric said this, but that it, it should be mentioned again. <laughs> My first ocean, I mean beach, beach tarpon. tarpon. I already caught an ocean tarpon. So Lorenzo, you you caught this beautiful beach tarpon. Oh, so did I, by the way. I got one too. Yeah, but and that was, was bigger. Okay, yeah, yours was yours was bigger, <laughs> uh, but. Uh, you were pretty proud of that fish. I, now, I'm very, I, still, I still am proud. You fought that fish for a good hour, dude. No. It was about an hour by the time you were done with him. Keys. We went out in the keys and slayed the yellowtail. Slaughtered, Slaughtered the yellowtail. Slaughtered the yellowtail. Slaughter. And I absolutely love how it stabbed my dad in its toe. Yeah. So, yes, I, I, that was that's, the biggest one. That's your favorite memory of 2020? Like, out of all the things to say, a fish stabbing me in the toe? Toby, what the heck, man? Uh, okay. So, geez, the man. next one. The yeah. next one. <laughs> the next yeah. one. This is your son. Yeah. Um, I love mine too. August 31st, my be my birthday. Dude. And I'm like, hey, my dad, it? my parents His are like, birthday. do you want to go on like, a trip wing park or something? I'm like, no. What do you want to do for your birthday, We're Lorenzo? Going fishing. How many 11-year-olds do you know that caught a shark on their birthday? Zero. No, yeah, you're the only one. Gosh, <laughs> Lorenzo, I'm so proud of you, but you fought that thing all by yourself. And all by that myself. was that was a beautiful and he, he messed me up too. He jacked oh, me up he, with your the, fingers still broken. And my fingers me. still messed up from that. The and uh, yeah, his tail hit my thumb and, and I his tail hit my shoulder. Yeah. yeah, so Kay. I think there's so much more. There is a lot. I think I'm gonna put out my, put the heat on my sister. Alright, Sophia. Yeah, come on, come on, Lucy, get over here. All right, Miss Sophia, <laughs> favorite memories of 2020. Watch your lip. What do you think? One of my favorite ones is when we went to Georgia. And, oh yeah. And we stayed at this huge cabin, yeah, so and you guys too. and you guys caught rainbow trout. Yeah. Not rainbow. Yeah, yeah. Rainbow, rainbow trout. Rainbow trout at that yeah. little river thing. Yeah. And that was really, really beautiful and fun. Um, another thing is in the quarantine fishing classic. Yeah. One of my favorite memories is when. So in I forget which one, but one of them like me like Lorenzo caught this huge snook or snook I think no yeah. tarpon snook snook and all of a sudden five minutes before the deadline Eric comes up with this even bigger one yeah it was huge Lorenzo had a tarpon and that monster bowfin I I like tarpon yeah and then Lorenzo and, and Eric, then Eric that like literally caught at the last second that was funny oh you know what so it was so funny because like like I I was like in my bed like. I won this. That feels nice. <laughs> and, uh, I got a 40 inch snook um, in my hands right now. Yeah, Can you come over? That was nice. Uh, I'm like, dang it! Alright, Sophie, what else, girl? We literally caught a permit in December. 
when the like when the winds are like 15 miles an hour. Yeah. And my my dad literally always says, December is not the time to fish. You won't catch it on the beach. No yeah, I'm, I'm not a big nothing. beach fisherman in the winter. I am now, right, Aunt Susan? <laughs> and Susan's yes, like yes. permit in December. You are now. <laughs> <laughs> what what else we got? You know, you got other stuff going too, right? What 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 the heck is that, dude? Put it on the towel. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, it's on the towel. It's like a car. Dude, it's a trumpet fish. Look at the look at the blue spots on him. What's a trumpet? That's a trumpet fish right there. Dude, did you cut him or was he cut like that? He was cut like that. He just rushed up in the front air and swim. Go sit down with you guys over there. Is he rare? Is he rare? No, they're around. Go sit down with those guys over there. Okay. Um, I don't know anything about a trumpet fish. Let's huh? find out. That's a trumpet fish. See if he's got teeth. Do they have teeth? Look at his little mouth. Oh, dude, look at this. What the heck is that? Dude, that's an alien no, fish. No, uh, it's got. Yeah. Hold it's on. Like, there's barbs on the inside to hold something once you get it. Look at his little mouth. That thing he sucks in, little bait fish. They can't get out because there's barbs going this way. Okay, well, that is probably the weirdest fish. Beautiful. Look at the colors. Beautiful colors. And, and so he was just chopped like that? Yeah, he washed up my feet. I thought it was a, a branch or something. And it wasn't. This is uh, a... <laughs> uh, you tell me what that is. Yeah, there it is. She, she found it. He's, he's meaty. Look at it. Fish. I so, think he looks like yeah, a white meat. Fish. White meat. Let's I'll, eat him. Hey, a Victor Land Shark. How do trumpet good. fish taste? I'll bet he'd do a cut and cook Yo, on it. Might be the only fish we catch bring home tonight. <laughs> see, see, look up and see if he's got an episode on, on half a trumpet fish. <laughs> How does half a trumpet fish count? Okay, just, just really quick. Wrap your head around this. How many of your grandmas catch a tarpon in your backyard? Yes, grandma's tarpon. Grandma's first, like, like her first fish. fish. Her first fish. Like a tarpon. Yeah, but we got we got to catch Nana a tarpon or a fish. Yeah, we well, do. That was so fun. Like that was so cool. Um, ooh, I know we didn't catch much, but on Fourth of July, oh, yeah. that oh, the water yeah. was glass. That was probably one oh. of my best days of my life. Yeah. It was the best, you guys. Like we swam and like it was the best. Yeah. No belly and then the, no, and the belly flop king did his thing, huh? Belly flop king, Samuel way out. Samuel way out. It is work. All right. How about trolling in the intracoastal? You guys catching your big barracudas? That was fun. That was, that was awesome. a lot of fun. Um, another memory that was fun oh. and very special. 2020 and was fish? my son's birthday. He asked for a couple of his friends to come and fish with. Instead of going anywhere else, he chose to be here by the beach and try to catch something big. And God truly blessed him by giving him a shot. God crushed him. I thought my birthday was over. Like It was like at the end of the night. <laughs> Nailed it. Dang it. Nailed him. I got him. Got him. <laughs> so it was fun. That it was, was fun. Special. Bless that. That was awesome. Yeah. All right. Now, uh, we're going to go to one of my dear friends, Ryan Roll, because he's new to our Watch Your Lip family, but the dude is on fire. Ryan, what is your favorite memory, memories from 2020? So, you guys have been like my my most um, impressive fishing disciples because you went from like zero to 60 in like two seconds. <laughs> you went from like, hey, how do you, you know, to like catching like snook and tarpon and peacocks like right in your backyard. Matthew, you're like, you fish possibly more than I do. More than Lorenzo even. What do you think about that? I don't know. You know are you good with that? I yeah, man. <laughs> All right, so guys, what do you say would you would be, what do you say would be your favorite memories, uh, watch your lip memories from 2020? The uh, Oh, the silver side run. Yeah, was that fun? Yeah. So just fishing on the beach during the summer, there's all the fizz, there's snook, there's tarpon, stuff going on. It was cool and they were seeing like just a blanket. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. The, where the tarpon and stuff are eating the bait yeah. fish. Yeah, what else? Anything else stand out? Um, probably my first snook and tarpon. Your first snook and tarpon. Guys, why don't we do this? Why don't we play some of that footage right now? We are on with our second tarpon of the day. Oh. And it's gonna be our second tarpon ever. Yeah! Yeah! Let's yeah! go! Yeah! We're yeah! yeah! getting tarpon. All right. And, and it's in the same day on Jonah. Oh my goodness, this is incredible. 
Yep, I'm still filming. I've All never. Right. I think Matt's Tarpon! Oh my god. Alright, dude. Congratulations on nailing Snook and Tarpon, dude. You are a champ, for sure. When I talked to Matt with mine, he already stole mine. Because I think that was the first, that was my favorite video. Uh, watching the Tarpon and just beat up the, the silver size and the filters and just the video footage you got underneath the water. Yes. It was like, wow, how many bait fish were there. It was unbelievable. Yeah. Like how the Tarpon would just roll and be there and jump in and smack in. Yeah, that was, uh, that was awesome. That was Very good. It makes you want to run out there and... Uh, and you want to go fishing? You want to go move on the beach. Okay. You want to put a tent up there, <laughs> just jump in there, just fish, you know? So, All right, so cool. now, but you you actually made a big step this year. You you guys bought a boat, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Jonah. We got, we got Jonah, so we named Jonah. Uh, we named the boat Jonah because Jonah has a reputation. His reputation of being around big fish. So when we first took Jonah out, we called it Peacock Bass. Um, but then no, the bass. Yeah. So we were catching some small fish, but it was soon after that that we finally caught our first carpet. Nice. We had hooked one out here, Matthew had hooked one. Yeah, I and, three, then, well, we yeah. and then you said, Hey, why don't you troll the shiners? So yeah, baby. We got in the boat, we started trolling the shiners, and we caught two tarpon yeah. in one morning. And uh, awesome. the first part when we caught jumped right in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. When we were in the, uh, the last couple of months, six tarpon. Yeah, really? six tarpon six and six snook. So you're up to six now. Six tarpon and six snook. Wow. Fantastic. This year, right? Yeah. And then right off your backyard, you guys got like a pretty nice snook. That was a what, 36 inch or something? Yeah, yeah 36. Yeah, Matthew caught a 36 inch snook. I caught a 32 inch snook. Yeah. Well, you guys are carrying on the Watch Your Lip um, mentality and just want to say thank you for being such good friends and being such awesome fishermen. So, Matthew, you going to go get them in 2021? Yes. Fist pump, Ryan? Yep. yep. All right, man. God bless, guys. Watch your lip. Watch your lip. All right, Ryan. Thanks so much for sharing all that you've shared. And, um, guys, it's um, I'm really impressed with the Roll family. Jordan, Matthew, they're going out there, and they're literally on their dock every single day, chumming it up, getting some shiners, catching big fish. So, guys, kudos to you. Keep fishing. Uh, George Leal, me people. The Leal family. Always Amazing supporters, an amazing family. Guys, let's see what the Leales think was the best of 2020. Okay, we are with the Leales. What's up, guys? Hi! Hi. All right, Lucas, those teeth, man. Let me see those teeth. Well, that's him. <laughs> like that. Like yeah, let me see him. Oh. I, think, I, think, I think he probably lost all those this year. Yeah, yeah that's, that's 2020 right there. <laughs> favorite memories, favorite watch your lip memories from 2020. <laughs> Remember, this, remember when it was cool and you guys couldn't go to the beach anymore and you guys finally did? Oh, we jumped on the yeah. sand in slow-mo? Yeah. That was yeah. awesome. First trip to the beach. That was good. That was good. Wasn't it illegal to go to the beach? I, I may have been. Yeah, you, ah! It was illegal to bring a chair to the beach. Yes. You could, you could go and stand or swim. <laughs> but no sitting. But no sitting. Yeah. Can you was, feel the sand? Define weird. That's, 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 the, that's it. All right, Samoa, so what about you, buddy? Camping. Camping? It's a real birthday. Yeah. Sophie's birthday. Camping trip? That was fun. Really? Yeah. Me people. There wasn't a lot of fish in that trip. Yeah. No. Yeah, we did. I mean, I caught two yeah. snook, I mean. Yeah. This kid, catches, a this kid catches snook no matter what. Not a big deal. He finds a snook. All right, George, what about you, man? What do you think? Oh, man. There's, there's a few few memories that come out, that, that come to mind. Uh, we've had the... Uh, the uh, GoPro falling into the water and getting the oh, that was funny. Dude, that was that awesome. Was, that was awesome. Lorenzo swimming down into a feeding frenzy to get a yeah. GoPro. Uh, the famous belly flop. Ooh. The infamous belly oh, flop. Yeah. That was awesome. 4th of July. Then we had the Keys trip. We oh, took yeah. the boats down to the Keys for the first time. Yeah. And yeah, so, we were, so zipping around with Zick zipping around with Zikias, Zikias. Yeah. out in the flats, man. We ended up catching three uh, mutton snappers, one keeper. Actually, yeah, two, two keepers. Two keepers. Oh. Two keepers, 18 inches, and a flounder. That's right. Did you keep the flounder? Yeah, we kept the flounder. I think the coolest memory of 2020 is the fact that we just brought fishing to another level. Yeah. So we not only can fish from shore, but we are now able to fish from boats. From boats. The finds 
got a boat outside of uh woo, woo, priscilla priscilla outside of they had aquila and you guys probably saw the video yeah. of aquila another great memory of 2020 yeah. of yeah. aquila being sold that was selling aquila it was and, sad but not really yeah and uh, the whole uh adventure that that was i saw that on video as well yeah and then Christmas. and then i caved in during quarantine because we had nothing to do during nothing quarantine to do. You know, figure something out. So we ended up getting a little ten-foot John boat. Zacchaeus. <laughs> we call him Zacchaeus because he was so small, but very, very willing. And also the winner. The so Zacchaeus won us the, the fishing tournament, the quarantine fit bass fishing tournament with a monster bass, dude. That's right, like about a six-pound bass. Oh, right. Notice it went from like five and a quarter. Yeah, it went from to four like to six, six in like yeah. six months. Man, that's gonna, pretty gonna, sweet. A couple stories. Yeah, and then Zacchaeus, but that was cool. So now that you only made one fishing trip with that boat, one fishing trip, one and done. And what happened, like, George? It was like it was like going on a on a surfboard with three kids <laughs> <laughs> with a trolling motor in the weeds. It was terrible. At that point, just decided to you just decided small. So so let me let me say something. So imagine you buy a boat, you win a fishing tournament, and then you sell it like the next week. Please That's just. It. Unheard of. And I and I sold it for twenty five dollars more than what I purchased it for. Awesome. So I made twenty five bucks on, on the sale. Ended up getting Zacchaeus version two. That's where we got the song. Zacchaeus two we got, which is a fourteen foot jumbo. So we upgraded from ten to fourteen. Yep. And then we had a little engine that we were blessed with a little uh, eight horsepower Yamaha two stroke. <laughs> yeah. The finds gifted us a uh, a really cool engine for that boat. And it left us stranded a couple of times and we got really scared. You're welcome. <laughs> we did take it to the Keys. That was a Keys trip. That was the Keys trip. And it did fantastic. It performed well. But so it then, gave you one great memory. Like really, no, a few, a few good memories. A great memory. Yeah, yeah. But that was definitely by far the best one. And then we decided to sell that and upgrade the Kia's. So we found a great deal. So you, know, so you bought the engine. So we bought an engine, a 25 foot. Uh, 25 uh, horse giant, was it? Uh, Mercury. Mercury, 2008. Got a great deal on it. And uh, there's a few footages out there of when we took it out to the lake for the first time. We were going like 30 miles an hour. It was fantastic. The boat was rattling like. And this, and like, like the back of the boat was like, like inches from the yeah. water, like centimeters. When you would make a turn, you'd be like, that <laughs> if you just put your finger it'd be like splash water into the bow and that was awesome so this is this is all an offer up right this is all an offer up and so you you went from you went from that boat then yeah so then uh so we, we so we ended up uh getting rid of the boat because the engine was just way too big for it we got to hang with the finds and get something like we can take in the ocean there you go. So we found a nice uh, Boston Whaler 1968 classic. Nice. Whoa. Nice. Oh, old school. Zach yeah. 3, baby. In and the house. that's where Zach 3 was born. And we hooked what? it up. We painted it. We put a bimini top on it. We How put a, it? the oh, seats. Baby. It's a 13 and a half foot. There we go. Uh, when we first had uh, it, it was like all empty. Fits in your garage. Yeah. yeah. So we actually fit both my Priscilla and your boat in your garage yeah. for the hurricane. During the hurricane, we got both boats in. Yeah. That was awesome. When we, we actually went to the trip to the Georgia, the cabins, and we left the boats in the garage. There's a hurricane nice coming. Nice and calm. And we have to worry about Two boats, boats in a garage. <laughs> Love it. Right. See, if we had Apollos, it would have been a different story. <laughs> Quite all right. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard this, but George bought three boats in one year. That is almost four. almost four. There was almost a fourth. Really? Vanessa yeah. pulled the trump card and said, "No, guys, no. George, 2021 is looking up, dude. We got boats. They both work. Hey, if we got so much action in one year, I can't imagine what 2021. 2021, when the boat ramps are actually open. The year of action. Action. All right, guys. Uh, Layout family, thank you so much. And uh, it's time for our next topic. All right, last category is favorites. Um, my absolute favorites. First of all, I gotta say, shout out to Aunt Susan, because my sister lives on the sand. Aunt Susan. Aunt Susan, Aunt Susan's Beach. And um, she's been here a long time, and we just kind of discovered it a couple, a couple years ago, instead of going to Delray. So Aunt Susan's Beach, definitely top the favorite list. Dude, that's, Aunt Susan's Beach came through this year, man. Her, her beach rocks. Her man. beach rocks. Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, you were there. I was there. Guys, this is the infamous Aunt Susan. Aunt Susan, uh, Aunt Susan has just been such an awesome support to us and, and 
we love your beach, Aunt Susan. Why, thank you. You're yeah. welcome anytime. So, uh, why don't you tell us, and by the way, this is Dude Perdick's sister. This is, uh, what, what was it like growing up with this guy? I mean. He beat me in rummy a lot and chess a lot. Really? He's a smart guy. What, was he fair? Oh, yeah. He yeah, was? Yeah. Yeah, okay. he beat me fair and square. Fair and square. Yeah. Uh, Aunt Susan, why don't you tell us, what was your favorite memory Watch your lip memory in 2020. My favorite watch your lip memory is easy. The looks on your faces when you catch a permit. It doesn't even matter the size. It doesn't matter. But they usually are pretty big. That's an amazing fish. Yeah, and the looks on your faces is, are price, is priceless. It is priceless. <laughs> well, it's even better when, when our kids catch them. That's the best. Yes. And you still have the same looks on your faces. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the first time over and over and over again. <laughs> Permit Beach. Permit, permit Beach, man. I, I, I still say we gotta go. We gotta bring a permit up to the city of Pompano, like uh, down city, on the city hall. Desk, on the city <laughs> hey, I got my permit. Let's change the name of this town to Permit Beach. Cause per per here's my permit. permit. Yeah. Boom. We have yet to catch a Pompano on per Pompano Beach. Honestly, seriously. See, there's some vocabulary issues here. There's some issues here. <laughs> yeah. Well, and Susan, thank you so much for all you do and for all your love and support. Yeah, and she brings us coffee and feeds our kids snacks. <laughs> I mean, coffee and snacks. Coffee, snacks, babysitting, toys. love, Play toys. Play with toys. Yeah. yeah. And last year, my boys slept through the, the permit that we got. Yeah, they did. So I wanted to I wanted to make sure back before he goes out to college, uh, make sure he had the thrill of uh, catching a permit. So I wanted a purpose to help both of them catch permit this summer. And they both did. They caught two each, actually. Last but not least, the bun, the bun. is done. The bun is done. The so, bun is officially done. So we started with the hammering bun in January 2019. Right? Yeah, January yep. 2019. Yep. Martini's hamburger bun. Hamburger bun. And these things just do not deteriorate. You keep it in the fridge. And you, I made it into a ball because that way it lasts longer. So you peel off a piece at a time. Yep. And um, we've been catching, you know, sometimes we go three months without using the bun, but then you go back to it. When the beach fishing's done or it's too windy, you go to the back of the spillway, catch bluegill, shiner, cichlid, brim, and you go out to the spillway catching tarpon and snook. And I think we end up 52. at 50, 52. 52 is the final count. That's 52. pretty impressive. And now, but, uh, the, bun more. the bun is done. 52, <laughs> 52 game fish off of one hamburger bun in South Florida. Wow, Eric, congratulations. You surpassed my expectations. Yeah, you thought that was an exaggeration when I, I first did. said it. I thought you were, I thought you were Josh. I I really six, I, I could, you could get 60 if you were really focused. <laughs> But, yeah, we kind of slacked off. Yeah, but 52, but once it once the bad. silver sides came along, we were like, eh, yeah. we're done with the spillway yeah, for a couple so, months. Bun's done, the bun, so uh, permit and the bun. Those are my All right, man. On to 2021, buddy. 2021. Here we go. And you have a YouTube channel coming up, right? I do. I don't have a name for you. But um, I, I, think, I don't think we're done for 2020. We're still going to try to get permit, and we're going to bridge fishing. We're going to go bridge fishing. That's so right. may, we may have two more favorites coming up. There so you go. We'll see. Here we go. All right, DP. See you soon, man. 2020. See ya. Huh. All right, guys, I have some best and worst from 2020 as well. Uh, guys, one of the cool memories that I can think of is we now have a boat. So we're out on Priscilla, like left and right. And I got to say, I absolutely love, I love my boat. I love my boat. I love my boat. I, I, I love my wife way more. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. Yes, I, I do. <laughs> I, I love her way more, and I will show her that later. I love my children way more. Yo. Yes, I do. Okay, I love my friends way more. Yes, Luce. <laughs> I love the Luce more. Uh, guys, but I, I absolutely adore Priscilla. She's been an amazing boat. We're gonna do some upgrades on Priscilla. We're gonna put a live well in, some rod holders. She's gonna be awesome. Boat. She's gonna be she loaded up, man. Ready, ready for uh, for fishing. We are learning how to fish the C14 Canal in Pompano Beach, and we're having a blast because uh, we never realized how many predatory fish there are in that canal. We, we were catching tarpon, we're catching snook, we're catching pickerel, we're catching bass, peacocks. Uh, Ryan Rolls getting like these uh, sleeper gobies. I mean, it's incredible how many fish we're catching in there and we're still learning how to do that, but Priscilla's made that possible. So we're killing that. Um, guys, we built a dock in like two hours. Bryce Contento came over and we Go watch that video. a floating dock boat. Watch that video, check it out. DIY, how to build a dock boat in like two hours or less. It was pretty cool. So easy, you guys can do it. Yes. It. If I can do it, you can do it. All right, and we're still making upgrades to that too. We're gonna put a fillet board on that and some rod holes and so on. Uh, but that was great. Guys, the Silverside run. Whoa, yeah. Epic. I mean, Dude Perdick kind of covered that. 
But that was literally my favorite memory of 2020 was the Silverside run because we literally, it was literally opening up a new world for me of beach fishing. And, um, and he's been fishing for more than I'm allowed to say. Yeah, guys, I've been beach fishing for 25 years and I've never fished the Silverside run. I'm used to fishing up in Palm Beach County. And now that we're down here in Broward, we found these Silversides and they were all pocketed up on, on the beaches here. And we caught tons of snook, tons of tarpon. And it was awesome, 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 awesome. Great to learn that stuff. Definitely one of the, my favorite things in the midst of a pandemic, guys, in the midst of a global pandemic, COVID is just spreading across the globe. Things are shutting down. And there was a period of about three or four months where literally we were shut in. We couldn't leave our houses or like we weren't allowed to go anywhere. All the boat ramps were closed. So Priscilla was kind of like up on the trailer for a couple months uh, at a time. We didn't have any way to put her in the water. And so uh, literally one of the coolest things we did was we did the quarantine fishing classic. That was awesome because we did stuff to create community at a time when people were feeling isolated. So that was an amazing thing. Lorenzo's, what you got there, buddy? And the shrimp He's getting put in the shrimp on. Hope you catch something, bud. Uh, well. I'm super excited about 2021, guys, because of the beach fishing how-to series that we're gonna launch. Every Thursday at 4 p.m., we are going to post a how-to video. And guys, we're gonna give you 25 years worth of beach fishing experience, and we're gonna talk about every facet that we can think of on how to become a successful beach fisherman. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna show you how to do that. We're gonna show you all we know. Guys, we're not experts. This is a hobby that we love, just love to do. We love to come out, but we catch fish. We're catching permit, we're catching snook, we're catching tarpon, big barracudas, tons of black tip sharks, palometas, I mean bonefish, really, on the beach. Pompano Beach, Delray Beach, Fort Lauderdale Beach. Guys. We even caught a Spanish mackerel. Spanish mackerel. Guys, guys, last word on 2020. Um, Jesus is the one place that we should we can place our trust and our peace. He is the Prince of Peace. We just want to say thank you to him for all that we've done. We want to say thank you to him for the thousand subscribers and seeing us through with health. And we're, we're, we're managing through this difficult time. We're doing our best to be there for people. So that's what we're going to continue to do through 2021. Things not, This pandemic's not over and we're still going to continue on and love on people and bring people fishing and share our love and experience with them. So thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I'm looking forward to 2021. Wow, that's getting hard to say. 2021. 2021. Um, it's going to be a good year. I think, I think. I think we're going to catch a whole I bunch know of fish. It is, Famous last words. <laughs> Famous last words. Yes. All right. Guys, right, guys don't we, forget to subscribe down yes. below. We hit 1K. 1K, yeah. baby. Thousand yeah. subs. And my new favorite memory from 2020 is finding half of the trumpet fish. <laughs> half of a trumpet fish. But guys, also, while you're at it, don't forget to uh, give us a big thumbs up because why not? Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And until next time, bye! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. uh, dude. <laughs> Watch your lip. Watch your lip. If you are building a YouTube channel, I can say, dude, what, one thing, Lorenzo cannot sit still. He just cannot. I'm sitting on a bucket. Yeah, you can. I've sit on bucket many, many times. <coughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Uh oh. Uh oh. Whoa. Epiglottis, what happened? Epiglottis? Whoa, now we're using big boy words. Eric, are you a kangaroo or something? Yeah, yeah, this is my. This is my little... I don't know what they call baby You're a mar Are you a marsupial or what, dude? <laughs> this card is coming out, dude. Ow. Ow. Oh, oh, come on. You gotta show where he's sitting, babe. This is hard. Yeah, okay, get, get out. Let me, see, let me see this. Out of all the things he picks to sit on, he picks my tackle box with the grooves where we can hang our hooks. And that's where we keep all of our weights and stuff. That, that's what he's choosing to sit on. Dude, dude, here, seriously? That's what this is for. You're so smart. Look at that. My booty was, oh my, my goodness. Booty was and, yeah. There. Look at you. My booty was like, just like, yes. Okay, sit down. <laughs>